North Carolina's Camp Lejeune is one of America's largest training grounds for the U.S. Marine Corps. But even here, where honor and loyalty are virtues, betrayal and murder exist. On March 27, 1999, Marine Corps Sergeant Whitman Wallace reported his estranged wife, 25-year-old Tanya, missing to military police. Though he and Tanya were separated, their four-year-old daughter had been staying with him for a few days. Tanya was supposed to pick her up after she got off work the previous evening. But she never showed. Tanya's roommates hadn't seen her either, and they said that her vehicle was also missing. Whitman believed Tanya had run off with another man. The case was turned over to the Naval Criminal Investigative Service, or NCIS, an elite civilian federal law enforcement organization whose mission is to protect and serve the Navy and Marine Corps and their families. Special Agent Robert Bratton, who headed up the major case response team, began the investigation into Tanya Wallace's disappearance. There were some very real concerns about uh, a mother of a four-year-old child who was very close to her child leaving uh, without any uh, comment to the family that she was staying with at the time. A few hours after the missing persons report was filed, word came in that Tanya's abandoned car had been found. Security guards at a nearby store had noticed it sitting in the parking lot since early that morning. An examination of the vehicle's exterior revealed the presence of small traces of human blood on the door handle. Agents and military police quickly spread out and began scouring the area for any signs of the young mother. But hours of searching failed to produce any clues to the missing woman's whereabouts. The vehicle was impounded for a more detailed analysis. Agents had to consider that with an impending divorce, Tanya Wallace might have gone missing on purpose. Looking for answers, agents went to check out her apartment and interview her roommates. One confirmed that recently Tanya had begun dating another man, but he was in the Navy and was currently deployed overseas. Tanya had made no mention of plans to travel. And since ending her relationship with the abusive Whitman Wallace, nothing seemed to be troubling her. The roommate added that since her split with Wallace, Tanya had become upbeat and excited about the new life she had ahead of her. She was committed to her daughter's happiness. And her roommate could not believe that Tanya would simply abandon her four-year-old leaving her estranged husband to raise her. Based on interviews of her girlfriend that she was living with, uh, the fact that she had never uh, left the child alone for any period of time, in fact, was uncomfortable leaving uh, her child with uh, the father for any extended periods of time. Uh, we relatively quickly ruled out the, the idea that she had probably left with somebody willingly. Before leaving, agents collected Tanya's toothbrush and a hairbrush for future DNA comparisons. Though agents remained hopeful that Tanya Wallace would turn up unharmed, all the signs were pointing to foul play. But so far, they had no physical proof that a crime had taken place. I appreciate you coming down and talk to me. No Sergeant Whitman Wallace was brought in for questioning. Uh, free to leave any time. He insisted he had nothing to do with Tanya's disappearance. Though they couldn't seem to make their marriage work, he still loved her and their four-year-old daughter. 
He said that on the night Tanya disappeared, he had been assigned to work desk duty from 11 p.m. until early the next morning. He said he never left his post. Agents contacted Wallace's assistant, who also worked that evening. He confirmed that Wallace began his shift at 11 o'clock. But 30 minutes later, Wallace asked him to watch his desk. Wallace said his wife hadn't shown up to pick up their daughter, and he needed to go back home and look after her until Tanya arrived. Wallace left and eventually returned two hours later. Agents realized that Sergeant Wallace had lied when he claimed he never left work that night. Now, they needed to find out what he was trying to hide. <laughs> 